Hey guys, Pat here again from BonusXP.com. Uh, this is the second episode of Up Your Game. And this week, as you can already pretty much tell, we're going to be doing or covering StarCraft 2 multiplayer. And more specifically, the, the Terran side of things. Now, I know a lot of you players that haven't yep. played much of StarCraft 2, or have at least started doing a lot of the campaign, have noticed that you tend to stick a lot more with Terran, mainly because... I don't know, I guess through the campaign you get a lot more use than you do either Zerg or Protoss. So I'm going to show you a little quick tip that will get you gotcha. a bit more pumping in the multiplayer aspect of things. I notice a lot of people don't use this very, very basic tip as much as they should. So uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Now what you want to do, obviously, at the start of every match is get your ECVs working on those minerals. Now, of course, you might already know about build orders and things like that, but we're not going to cover that today. We're just going to do is a couple of little basic things. Obviously, you want to have your ECBs getting some more of those minerals. Now, the main point of this tip is to show you how to block off entrance ways the most, in the most efficient way using Terran. Now, as you can see, I'm actually playing against a Zerg player, and he's hovering away over there, checking out my base. Now, we don't want him to get up here, up this choke point. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a sort of a wall to stop people from doing that, or stop the enemies from getting up there, but in a certain way. Now what you want to do first is you want to get your first barracks. You see, I've got my barracks here, and you want to put it somewhere around, let's see, somewhere where we can actually build it. So perhaps yes, sir. right there. So while he, that's the SCVs building that, we can continue to pump out more SCVs and get more minerals. Of course, this is just the basic strategy you use with StarCraft 2 all the time. Now don't worry about that Zerg. Uh, Overlord over there, we don't really need to worry about him too much. He's just going to cruise around and have a look at our base. Now what we want to focus on is this area over here. Now that we've got the barracks building, we want it, because we have it right on this choke point, if we ever need to get enemies out into the field quickly, they can do so straight away by getting going straight down this ramp and off to the battlefield. Now the reason having it so close to here is that is, you, know, you can get them straight out. But also we have another ability that the Terrans can use quite effectively is bunkers. Or supply depots in this case. Supply depots are even better because they can go in and out of the ground. But we'll show you what we're going to use those for right now. So we'll bring our ECV over here. So you can see he can go up and down that ramp as much as he wants. Now that's okay for now, but what we want to do is block that off completely, even from our own units. So what we'll do is we'll get a supply depot. But, um, let's see about right there. So we've got one there. We've also got a spot over here that we're going to need to cover up as well. Now, now that we've started to build, we can also put some units to get them moving out as a little bit of defense. Uh, while that supply depot is being built, we've got more ECVs being pumped out, and they will continue to mine. Don't worry about if you spend gas, of course, at the start. Just get minerals. It's the most important part. So... Once that supply depot's up, as you can see, it's sitting there, pretty much blocking off any way between there, but he's, any units can still come up the ramp and go directly around to that side part. And we don't want that, so what we're going to do is going to block off that other area right here with the mouse is. So we'll grab another supply depot, pop it right there. And as you can see, he's building away. We've got some uh, marines pumping out down here, which is good. Another one coming along, might as well do some more while we're here. So this tip is, is very, very basic, guys, but it's it's essential. If you're using Terran, you need to wall up, especially if you're in the lower end, like in the bronze level, silver level. Typically, uh, the pro level in the uh, up in the platinum sort of area of StarCraft 2, they don't normally do this because, you know, they've, always, they've got other strategies that are much more advanced than this, and they don't normally need to wall yeah. in as much. But anyway, let's have a look at this. See, if I wanted to get outside of my base... I can't do it. Yeah, He's stuck yeah. right there. No one else can do it. And also, no one can get in, which is what we want. Go, go, go. But the cool thing about Terran is we have these things called supply depots that can pop in and out of the ground. So if we want our units to come back into the base for any reason, we can do so. Pop them back in, take them back out while that supply unit, uh, supply depot well, is on the ground. Now we want to get him back in and wall up. So that area is effectively sealed off from any units coming in. And the cool thing is there's a barracks right in between, so if we do get some people attacking us from this area, we can pump out a little bit of defense and stop them from completely destroying that uh, that barracks. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's very, very basic. 
but very, very effective, especially because of these supply depots. Now, you can do the same thing with bunkers, so for instance, I could... Uh, let's see, I could put a bunker over here, even just a, a little bit more of a wall in case they do get through the supply depot, but... And I can put some marines in there, or whatever, whatever you want to do. But the thing is, you've got your wall up, they've got nowhere to get in, you've got nowhere to get out, unless you use... Get down. Have a look, see, look, perfect timing. Not even a zerg rush. But uh, anyway, thanks folks for watching again. This was uh, Up Your Game episode number two. This was Pat from Bonus XP. Stay tuned next week to find out what the next game will be and your next tip to improve your multiplayer experience. Thank you very much.